Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to produce table of descriptive statistics for large number of variables. To do so, we use sample data. As you see, I have 10 variables to describe. And each variable has 12,420 observations. So step number one, I open new sheet and in the new sheet, I write down all statistics that I want to produce. I want to include in my table of descriptive statistics. So that is number of observations, mean, median, mode, maximum, and what you see on, on your screen. Next, uh, so I go back to my data and I copy all my variable names listed on the top row. I copy and paste on my newly devised sheet. Let's start with calculating, with finding out the number of observations for a variable called days to ship action. To do so, I, I write count and Excel automatically shows me the comment. So I choose that and I go to my worksheet with the data. I select cells where I have data. So I have data from A2 to 12,421. I close bracket and press OK. Excel has counted the number of observations for my first variable. Remember that range of data where range of cells where I have data is the same for this variable. Therefore, I copy location of my data from the first formula. So I copy and this will speed up my work. Next one, I type average and I paste the location of my observations that I've copied from the first cell, like from the cell A2. And I have calculated mean. So next one, I calculate median. Median. I, I cal calculate mode. Mode, single mode. Okay. And maximum. Minimum, minimum, and range. The maximum minus minimum. Then I also calculate variance. So I select the second option, which is variance of sample, because this is sample data. Although it's large, it's sample data. And I adjust digits here, so it's enough to keep the last two digits. Then I can write down standard deviation of sample and I put location of my files, my observations and quartile. Let me just type so that I'm counting the quarter, first quarter, which is the first 25th 5% of observations. And so it is quartile. So quartile and so I the first quartile. So next one is quartile again, excluding and quartile number three. Okay. Percentile and interquartile range is the difference between the value in third quartile minus value in the first quartile. And I also put now a skewness, coefficients, skewness, skewness, and I put this location and kurtosis. Kurtosis 
and I again I adjust digits. So well done. So we have created all descriptive statistics for our variable called days to ship. So next, what we can do, we can we uh, we can simply copy all these cells, formulas in these cells, and apply this to other say so i can we can adjust digits just digits and you see so we manage it quickly calculate descriptive statistics for all our variables and and final step and as you have probably seen in many publications that uh table of descriptive statistics is presented slightly differently. Uh, usually it's the opposite so that on the columns you have statistics and in rows you have uh, num names of the variables. So we will bring this table of descriptive statistics into a publishable format. To do that, we open new spreadsheet and I copy all these statistics then i right click and i choose paste spatial paste spatial and i put transpose and i will only paste values i don't want to keep formulas so voila you see i have we have created table of descriptive statistics and now we have in rows, we have names of the variables, okay? So we can make this more fancy. So by putting lines and this table is ready. And you can copy and paste to any document that you wish to apply, okay? So let's say we want to keep this in the Word document. So let me open Word document. I open Word document, you see, okay. And I put layout in the landscape because I have now large number of columns and I paste. So uh, we, can, we can actually split this into two tables, other, other half of the statistics into other one table so let me is statistics delete columns and then so this is my first table variance and here i have the all measures of variation and i can delete the rest also here from here so we have range and then we can delete the other half Your skewness, cryptosis, and it's a, it's according to your own needs. So you see that we have divided two tables of descriptive statistics and only need to describe. So this is table number one. So table number one. So and and then you just like write whatever you want. Okay. And this is table number two. So this is it. I hope that this is helpful.